It's time. Tomorrow is the big day. It's happening. Finally. After two years, it's happening. And tomorrow, I'm doing my final, final haircut in my gray hair transition. I'm going into Betsy, and we are chopping off any of these last little bits, and I'm going to take you with me. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee and this is Welcome to My Curls. And this is my bathroom. We have not talked in my bathroom in quite a while. We've been doing a lot of talk about my dogs, but today we're gonna talk about my gray hair. Do y'all know what tomorrow is? It is my big haircut. I am finally going for it. I am finally gonna let my hairdresser, Betsy, chop off these little brown ends. This is what's hanging on. It's primarily just right in here and up here I'm I'm white. I'm gray. I have nothing left up top. <laughs> wow. But I'm going for it tomorrow. I am due a really good healthy haircut. My hair has gotten huge. It's out of control. We have been at the beach for the past week. That's why I'm all nice and tan. And my hair is just crazy. Just the beach weather and the salt and the air just made my hair nuts. And so I've had this scheduled for a while. I told Betsy I'm going to come in with my camera and I'm going to film the final haircut. Don't let me back out. It's time to do it. I've been hanging on to these little brown bits for way too long. This week, in fact, marks my two-year anniversary of the last time that I colored my hair. You all know I used to color my hair a very dark, like brown with a little bit of a red color in it because my husband always said he liked my hair the color of a penny. So that is what I did. And it has been growing out for the past two years. This is my natural gray, black. This is my natural pattern. And it's just time to get rid of the bits. I'm down to this. Just about little the little tips at the end. Let me kind of show you what's going on in here. Before the haircut, you know that I'm just so white in the temples and I'm naturally darker back in here. So this is what it looks like underneath. This side's a little bit different. I have a different curl pattern over here. You can see how it lays differently. And so the gray is just a little bit different. Let me show you underneath. Y'all know I got this wonky half-headed gray thing in the back. I've done videos about it, but here it is today. Women come up to me all the time and want to talk to me about my hair, which is something I love. I just, I, I am all for going gray, y'all. All for it. But women are so interested in my gray pattern and my white pattern and my black pattern. And they always say to me, oh, I would love to go gray if my hair would look like that. You don't know what it's going to look like until you do it. I had absolutely no idea that when I started growing out this hair, I would be completely and 100% white right here. I had no idea. I just envisioned that my whole head would start to grow out a mixture of gray. But instead, I have these beautiful patterns and variants all over my head, and I absolutely love it. Now, I know that I've gotten some pretty nasty comments from some ladies lately. Um, who have said that I just look so old with gray hair and why in the world do I want to shave years off of my life by having silver hair? That I should go dye my hair because I would look like I was 30 instead of 50. Well, girls, let me just tell you, I am 50. I am not trying to be 30. I'm not trying to look 30 and I certainly am not trying to act 30. This is the color my, that my hair is naturally. I am so glad that I did it. I am so glad that I am free of all of the things that I hated. I'm free to be me and just my silver hair has empowered me. And I don't want to get into all that in this video. I just want to say it has truly been one of the best decisions of my life. But tomorrow morning is my appointment with Betsy and I am going to take you with me. I'm, going to... I'm here, Betsy's. And I'm honestly a little nervous. I'm nervous not to get rid of the gray 
because I don't want short hair. And I'm afraid in some of these sections, I'm gonna have some short hair. But I'm doing it, y'all, I'm doing it. So it is easier for me to see when it's dry. Sure. So how do you feel about me just snipping off all the dark mm -hmm. with it dry and then shampooing it and giving it like a good like Healthy clean up cut. cut. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, okay, it's done, y'all. I'm going home. I'm going to take a shower, fix my do, see what I got, and I'll see y'all then. But I can already tell, oh my goodness, it feels so short. Betsy decided the best way to go about it was to cut it dry because when it's wet, it was really hard to tell the difference in my natural dark hair and some of the red. So we cut it dry. She cut off all the color and then went back and cleaned everything up and gave me a really good haircut. So it feels so short. I'm kind of scared, <laughs> but it's big day, big day. It's basically my anniversary, my two year anniversary. And y'all, I am completely 100% silver headed. Yay! Y'all, I'm home. Here it is. What do you think? Oh my gosh. Like, I, I don't even know what I think. As soon as I left Betsy's, I started running my fingers through my hair. And normally I could go like this, but my hair stopped. There was no hair. But look how short this is. But it's not nearly as short as I thought it was going to be. But, but, mm. I am shoulder length, y'all. This, this is uh, this is gonna be a little something. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this up in a ponytail for work, but I'll make do. I'll work it out. I'll use some bobby pins, something. But let me let me just give you a spin and show you around so you can see. I have no color left. Look at this, completely gray. Look at this, y'all. Ah! <laughs> I got nothing. So, whoo, it feels so light and just free. I can't believe I'm done. I can't believe it has been two years. I can't believe it has been two years since I stopped coloring my hair. I started my YouTube channel. My life has changed. My world has changed. My attitude has changed. And it's all been related to my hair. I, I, I just, I, it has not sunk in. I just feel so free. That's the only way I know how to put it, free. I feel like me, I feel like I'm completely 100% myself and who I'm supposed to be, and I'm free. It's that simple. Boop, boop. I have not been able to see a space between my hair and my shoulders in a long time. You can go back and look at the video from just yesterday and you can see that my hair was down here, completely hung down on my shirt. But here I am, look at this. I am now a silver sister. I don't have words other than to say I'm so glad I'm free. And, and, I, and it doesn't make sense to say I'm so glad it's over because really, there was, there was nothing to it. I thought in the beginning that this was going to be horrible. And that is what so many women think. And the first four months were horrible. Not painfully horrible, just horrible when you look in the mirror and horrible when you go back and look at pictures because you have this big skunk line and you're like, oh, that did not, <laughs> that was not my best moment. But y'all, honestly, once I got six, seven, eight months in and I had a huge 
amount of gray hair and white hair. I have so much white hair. It just became part of me, and I honestly didn't even think about it. I didn't really even notice that I was going gray or growing out my colored hair until somebody mentioned it to me or until somebody commented and asked me a question about my hair. So to say I'm glad it's over doesn't really make a lot of sense. I'm just glad that I'm finally me. That's the best way to put it. This is it. I'm at the end and uh, I'm loving it. I'm truly loving it. The best decision I have ever made for myself. I want to thank you all for following me on my journey, for being supportive, for always giving me positive comments and lifting me up when I needed it, giving me the supportive comments and the positive comments and the wonderful vibes and sending your karma my way. It was so helpful. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you're here and I would love to support you on your journey if that is where you choose to go. So if you have a question, if you need something from me, if you need information, or you just want to chat about being a silver sister, just comment below. Follow me on Instagram. Send me a DM. Comment on a YouTube video. I'm always here. I'm going to go enjoy my new gray hair. I'll see you later.